Please take a seat and silence your cell phones. Our evening's programming is about to begin.
Welcome. Good evening, and welcome to the John B. Cox School of Peace Studies at the University of San Diego. My name is Patricia Marquez, and I'm the Dean of the Cox School. We are thrilled to be here tonight because just in a few minutes, we will have the chance to listen to the leader of the Solidarity Movement and former president of Poland, Lech Walesa. We are grateful at the opportunity to learn more about former President Walesa's perspectives on peace building and the lasting impact he created through his leadership and organization for collective action. Here at the Kroc School of Peace Studies and its Kroc Institute for Peace and Justice, we focus on understanding those pathways that can lead to better societies and more peaceful and sustainable communities here in San Diego and everywhere around the world. We study theories, we examine practices that explain how violence takes hold within societies, and more importantly, what we can do about it. We prepare professionals to shape systems and institutions that are resilient, ethical, and more effective in building lasting peace. One way in which we do all of this is by bringing to the Kroc School the most distinguished, lecture, uh, distinguished leaders in peace building, like the former president, Lake Walesa, who successfully led a powerful nonviolent movement that helped end communist rule in Poland and usher in the end of the Cold War among many other accomplishments. Lech Walesa helped galvanize millions of workers through the 60s, the 70s, and 80s, exercising pressure on the government to hold democratic elections in Poland. In 1990, he became the first freely elected president of Poland in 63 years. In 1983, he was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in recognition of his great courage, his energy, and his leadership. What an honor it is to have former President Walesa with us tonight in San Diego and at the University of San Diego, giving a talk titled, The Fall of Communism, Russia and the War in Ukraine. During 25 minutes, former President Walesa will share his insights and perspectives on the dynamics between Russia, Ukraine, and the United States, dynamics that affect the entire world. This will be followed by a short session of questions and answers. But before we hear from former President Lake Walesa, City of San Diego Council President Sean Elo Rivera will now say a few words to welcome him on behalf of the City of San Diego. Please join me in welcoming San Diego City Council President Sean Elo Rivera. Thank you, Dean Marquez, for the introduction and for welcoming, welcoming me to the Kroc School of Peace Studies here at the University of San Diego. It really is an honor to be here. I'd like to extend my appreciation to all of you in this room for participating in this very important conversation today. As we all know, this past year, Russia's invasion of Ukraine has consumed a great amount of attention in the media, and rightfully so. But rarely do we have an opportunity to engage deeply excuse me, deeply and thoughtfully with one another on how this needless violence across the world is having its effect on us here in San Diego, our binational region, and beyond. So I'm thrilled that we have the opportunity to do that here this evening. From this lecture and the Q&A discussion, you will have a deeper understanding of Russia's war with Ukraine and how we can work together to build peace and solidarity for those directly affected. I hope we all draw lessons from this discussion and take those lessons back into our community here in San Diego. Many people don't know that San Diego is a sister city to Poland's capital, Warsaw. The sister city program, founded under Dwight D. Eisenhower's administration, was created with the intention that if we want peace, then the problem is for individuals, 
people to get together and to work out not one method, but thousands of methods by which we can learn from each other and build peace. Tonight, let's commit to learning from one another so that we can build a better, more peaceful, more just society. Without further ado, let's get to this evening's main event. We're here to learn from the first democratically elected president of Poland after the fall of the Soviet Union. His experience as an organizer and advocate for democracy in the face of authoritarianism should inspire us all. And th those lessons should be especially relevant and pre uh, an, an, at the top of our mind today. I will also say, as someone who worked as an organizer as an and as an advocate prior to being elected, my ears perk up whenever I hear that that was someone's path to office. I will also note that the work um, that Mr. Walesa did in Poland uh, was a little bit more challenging than mine. I organized youth. Um, he was organizing against, you know, one of the, the most severe totalitarian regimes in the world. Uh, my job was easier, um, but nonetheless, we were organizers at one point. <laughs> his, his leadership throughout the Solidarity Movement, Solidarity Movement brought transformational and critical workers' rights and social change to Poland in the 1980s. Um, and I think I, I just make one last note before we, we bring him up here. I had just a couple moments uh, backstage with Mr. Walesa, and um, I, I think it's important for you all to know that one of the points that he made, to, made was that he did not want questions censored. And I think that that is such an important, important um, message for him to send. Um, he wanted the tough questions. Right? He didn't want anything censored. And I was inspired just from that very brief interaction and, and hearing him say, ask me the tough questions and I do not want censorship. So with that, please join me in round of applause. Please join me in round of applause for one of Europe's most influential advocates for democracy and collective action, the former president of Poland, Lech Walesa. Ktoś jeszcze mówił przede mną? Od razu? A. Dziękuję za brawo, ale chciałbym, wolałbym na końcu dostać takie brawo. Tak będę musiał zapracować. Ale spróbuję. Będę mówił szczególnie do młodzieży uczącej się. Przyjeżdżam do was jako człowiek wielkiego sukcesu. Uh, I'm arriving here as a man of success. Kiedy, kiedy ja sukces osiągałem, to wie, wielu z was nie było na świecie. When I was becoming successful, most of you weren't here just yet. 1980 rok był taki główny. My, the main year was 1980. Burzyłem stary porządek Europy i świata. I was destroying the old order of Europe and the entire world. W najlep największym stopniu sprzeciwiałem się do upadku Związku Sowieckiego. My main goal was to destroy the Soviet Union. Układu Warszawskiego. The Warsaw Pact. Wycofanie wojsk okupacyjnych od II wojny światowej sowieckich wojsk. And to get rid of the occupying Soviet forces out of my country. Pomogli They They've been there since the Second World War. Pomogliśmy zjednoczyć się Niemcom. We helped the Germany to get Germany to get united. A więc zburzyliśmy stary porządek Europy i świata. So we destroyed the old order, the old order of Europe and przy, the entire world. Przy wielkiej pomocy Stanów Zjednoczonych. With a huge help from the United States. Ale burzyliśmy po to, żebyście wy młode pokolenie zbudowali nowy, lepszy świat. But we destroyed that world order, so you, the young people, the new generation, so we can build a new, better world. Jako człowiek sukcesu chciałbym, żebyście, żeby te nowe pokolenie odniosło sukces. As a man who achieved success, I also want the new uh, generation to succeed. I przyjeżdżam po to, by was zachęcić do tego sukcesu. 
And I arrived here, I'm traveling to encourage you to become successful. Widzicie, co się w świecie dzieje. You can see what is happening in the world. Po rozwiązaniu Związku Radzieckiego należało uporządkować Rosję i Chiny. Because after the Soviet Union fell apart, what we should have done is to restructure the Soviet Union, restructure Russia and restructure China. Ja próbowałem tego dokonać. I tried to do that. Ale mądrzy tego świata zatrzymali mnie. But the wise people of, of this world, they stopped me. Udowodnili mi, że tego nie możemy w tamtym czasie dokonać. They have proven to me successfully, but at the time when I wanted to do that, bo, that was not possible. Bo byłoby to niebezpieczne dla świata. Because back then, that would have been dangerous to the world. Ale dzisiaj, kiedy Putin popełnił takie straszliwe błędy, but today, considering that Putin made such a terrible mistake, zmobilizował cały świat przeciwko sobie. He mobilized the entire world against him. Macie szansę, mamy szansę dokonać tego, czego ja wtedy nie dokonałem. We have a chance, you have a chance to do what I was unable to do back then. I stąd też pogadajmy o tym wszystkim. So let's talk about it. Abyśmy się zrozumieli i współdziałali. So we can understand each other and we can cooperate. Świat dał największą szansę Stanom Zjednoczonym. The world gave the, gave the biggest chance, the biggest opportunity to the United States. Jako najwięk, macie jak największy obowiązek dokończyć tego dzieła. Because the biggest responsibility is yours bo, to finish this job. Bo to się nie zdarzy długo, długo jeszcze. Because this opportunity will not happen by for a long time. By cały świat zmobilizował się przeciwko takim rządom, jak, jak są w Rosji. That the entire world got together against the, the uh, government that they have in Russia. Stąd pomówmy o tym, jak tego dokonać bezpiecznie, pokojowo. So let's talk about it. How can we do it in a safe way and in a peaceful way? Bo nawet jeśli dziś pokona, Ukraina poko, pokona Rosję. Because even if today the Ukraine wins the war with Russia, to za parę lat Rosja znów odbuduje się i znów będzie w będziemy w podobnej sytuacji. Russia will rebuild and in a few years we will uh, find ourselves in a similar situation again. Rosja i Chiny mają zły system polityczny. Russia and China, they have a, a, a wrong political system. Naczelnik tego państwa, tych państw, prezydent, czy jakby gośmy nazwali, nie może mieć więcej jak dwie kadencje pięcioletnie. Uh, because the leader of that country, the president, or whatever you want to call them, a uh, president should not have more than two terms to serve the country. To nie winien Putin, nie winien Stalin, to, to system polityczny u nich. It's not the Putin, it's not Stalin, it's the political system that they have. Więc pomóżmy Rosja, Rosjanom zmienić system. So let's help the Russian to restructure their system. Jeśli to, się, jeśli to będzie słabo szło, to jest druga droga. It will go slowly. It is a long road. Russia składa się z 60 wielkich narodów typu Ukraina. Because Russia has a lot of different nations, 60 different nations, including in a way Ukraine. Które, które podobnie jak Ukraina zostały zdobyte. So all those nations, just like Ukraine, they were conquered by the Russians. I zrusyfikowane. And they were russified. Wymordowano kadry tych narodów. Uh, their leadership was murdered. Całe państwa, narody przyniesiono w inne okolice. They were, rep uh, they were um, uh, removing and moving different nations, the entire nations, to a different location. Więc zachęćmy te narody, by odbudowały swoją przeszłość. So we should encourage those small nations to go back to their roots and rebuild their countries. Tego trzeba dokonać. We have to do that. I to jest główne zadanie Stanów Zjednoczonych. And the main responsibility for that belongs to the United States of America. Następne pokolenia nie wybaczą nam, jeśli tego nie dokonamy, kiedy jest sprzyjająca okoliczność. Uh, the next generation will never forgive us if we don't do that. Now that we have such an amazing opportunity. Więc proszę was, nie uchylajcie się od tego obowiązku. Then please do not shy away from that responsibility. A jeśli nie macie ochoty na przewodzenie światu, to oddajcie to Polsce. My będziemy wiedzieli, co z tym zrobić. If you do not want to leave the world, please leave it to the Poles. We know what to do.
Kiedy, kiedy w, w tamtym czasie, kiedy ja walczyłem, mi też tak nie, nie mieliście ochoty pomagać nam. Because at the time when I was doing that, you were not really all that eager to help us either. Wpadłem na pomysł, aby wy, wypowiedzieć wojnę Stanom Zjednoczonym i szybko się poddać. Well, then I decided that my idea was maybe I wage a war against the United States and then I surrender right away. <laughs> Wtedy byście nas odbudowali. So that way you could rebuild us. <laughs> To tyle, co chciałem tytułem wstępu powiedzieć. So this is all I have to say at the beginning. Tematów jest tak wiele. There are so many issues. I tak, tak chciałbym, byśmy przedyskutowali je. And I would like to talk about it. By lepiej się zrozumieć. So we can understand each other better. Proszę tylko o trudne problemy i pytania. Please ask me difficult questions, difficult issues. Bo ja, jeśli są trudności, to ja się wtedy budzę do boju. Because when I have difficult issues, then I wake up and I'm ready to fight. Kiedy są proste, to ja zasypiam, bo jestem staruch już. But when I get simple questions, I fall asleep. I'm old. To jedna uwaga i druga. That's just one remark on the side. W tym gronie znajdziemy możliwe najlepsze rozwiązania. And I believe that in this environment we can find the best solutions. Tych trudnych problemów. For these difficult issues. Ja je sobie przywłaszczam. Uh, I, I'll take the credit for it. Idę na inną salę i popisuję się, jaki mądry jestem. And then I'll take your ideas and go to another room and I'll show them how smart I am. <laughs> Dostarczcie mi mądrości. So please, share your wisdom with me. Więc za zachęcam do takiej dyskusji. And I'm encouraging you to have a discussion with me. A jeśli nie, to ja będę monologował. And if you don't want to talk to me, then I'll just keep on talking. Bo zgodziłem się godzinę występować. I agree to be here for an hour, so Więc I can. Do was należy wybór, albo nudny monolog, albo dobra dyskusja. So uh, the choice is yours. You can either listen to my boring monologue, or we can have an interesting discussion. I w tej dyskusji naprawdę będę chciał państwa zachęcać. And during this discussion, I would like to encourage you. Los was zrobił super mocarstwem. Because I want you to become once again a superpower. Kiedyś było proste być supermocarstwem. Because in the old days it was easy to become a superpower. Podział był prosty. Well, the division in the world was very simple. Imperium dobra, które Stany Zjednoczone były. The imperium of uh, goodness, which was the United States. I imperium zła ze Związkiem Radzieckim na czele. And the evil empire that was being led by the Soviet Union. Kiedy upadło imperium zła. When the imperium um, of evil got destructed. Trzeba na nowo określić wasze przywództwa w świecie. So you have to define your leadership in the world from the beginning. Źle, źle będzie świat wyglądał, jeśli nie będzie przywództwa. Because the world will not be a good place if the world does not have a good leadership. Zróbmy wszystko, co możliwe, aby Stany odzyskały przywództwo świata i świat uznał to. So let's do everything in our power that we can. So the United States is the leadership of the world again. I and that the entire world acknowledges that leadership. I jest to możliwe. And that is possible. A jest to przede wszystkim konieczne. And first and most of all, it is essential. Tak widzę, widzę to, co się dzieje w świecie. I can see what is going on in the world. Za dużo już nie mogę zrobić. I cannot do all that much anymore. Mój okręt do, do, dobija do, biegu, do brzegu przeznaczenia. Uh, my life, my ship is coming to the end of its uh, journey. Więc wy musicie tę trudną robotę zrobić. So the difficult job is in your hands. Jak zrobicie, to mnie podziękują. And when you do that, I'll, I'll, I'll take the applause. You will be thanking me. Dziękuję, dziękuję bardzo. Thank you very much. Teraz równe prawa. Okay, so let's speed it up because I want to finish up. Tak nie rzadko, tak nie rzadko zapraszacie, że będę musiał się śpieszyć. Because uh, you invite me here so rarely that I have to uh, speed it up. Okay, bez, bez we're cenzury, ready. Bez cenzury. No censorship, please. We're ready. So we, we have the questions that keep coming. So the first one, though, is uh, my prerogative as dean of the school, and I want to ask. 
Since our students come here to gain knowledge and skills, to go on in the world and achieve the transformational change that uh, uh, President Molassa and the Solidarity Movement achieved. Czyli, proszę pana, chciałam powiedzieć przede wszystkim, że to jest dla studentów, dla studentów, którzy tutaj przyszli dzisiaj wieczorem, żeby się dowiedzieć o Solidarności i o tym, co osiągnęła Solidarność. Już na wstępie powiedziałem. As I said at the beginning, our main goal was to destroy the Soviet Union. We ended the Warsaw Pact. Wszystkie wojska z tych różnych państw zniewolonych rosyjskie wyprowadzone zostały. And the Russian troops left all the countries that they were occupying. Zjednoczenie Niemiec nie może by było bez nas. The fact that Germany got united would have been impossible without us. Jeszcze wiele innych osiągnięć jest. And there are plenty of other achievements. Ale to są najważniejsze. But these are the most important ones. To są nieprawdopodobne osiągnięcia. When you think about it, these are incredible achievements. Sytuacja była trudniejsza niż dzisiaj walka Ukraina Rosja. Because the situation back then was way more difficult than the situation that we have today between uh, Russia and Ukraine. Ponieważ zbudowaliśmy solidarność. Because we built solidarity. Stany Zjednoczone na początku nie wierzyły, że to możliwe. The United States didn't believe us at the beginning that that would be possible. A kiedy uwierzyły, no to, to ma, mieliśmy wielki sukces. And by the time they believed us, we have already achieved a huge success. Jeśli teraz uwierzymy w tą sytuację, która się zdarza, so right now, if we believe in the situation that's going on right now, to dopiero osiągniemy ten finalny sukces. So we, we will achieve the final success. Zbudujemy świat spokojny, bezpieczny. We will build, build a world that is safe. I na razie, na razie idzie to dobrze. Wasz prezydent dobrze kieruje sprawami. And at the moment, I believe it's going very well. I believe that your president is leading this country towards the right direction. Należy go wspierać, ja go bardzo wspieram. And uh, he needs your support. I am supporting him very much. So you spoke that uh, you, your work was, at, at the, you mentioned a peak in 1980. So why would you say uh, of the, all your long struggles, that are lessons that you want to share with the new generation? What is most essential to achieve lasting impact? Czyli proszę pana, pan swoją pracę pan wspomniał zaczął w 1980. I co by pan powiedział, co było najważniejsze w tym, co spowodowało, że pan osiągnął sukces w tym, co pan chciał zrobić? Sam nie wiem. I, I really don't know. <laughs> Udało się. I just got lucky. <laughs> well, there are two, two things I would like to say. I believe in God. But the, the new kind of God. Well, not the one from the Middle Ages. Or My God came from a computer of the new generation. And the second thing is, I fully believed that it is possible. So if the young people today have the drive that I had, you can make a change. Okay, so shifting gears. Do you think Putin's Russia is likely to end the war in Ukraine without achieving the ultimate goal of annexing uh, Ukraine? Czy pan uważa, że jeżeli chodzi o Rosję, że Rosja będzie mogła osiągnąć swoje cele na Ukrainie bez aneksji ich terytorium? Rosja nie potrafi inaczej postępować. Russia, Russians cannot do it any other way. I mean, they just can't. Jak mówiłem państwu, kiedy udało się rozwalić Związek Sowiecki, ja chciałem Rosję uporządkować. So when we were able to destroy the Soviet Union, I had an idea of restructuring Russia. Ale Gorbaczow by popsuł sprawę. But the Gorbaczow. Gorbaczow popsuł sprawę. But Gorbaczow messed it up. Bo on udawał wielkiego demokratę. Because he was pretending he was a democrat. Bardzo przyjemny był człowiek. He was a very nice guy. I przekonał Amerykanów do siebie. And he convinced Americans that these were in fact his intentions. 
Amerykanie mówili tak, no był ten Stalin. Yes, but uh, Americans thought, okay, fine, there was Stalin. No był ten Brezhnev. Yeah, there was Brezhnev. No, ale Gorbaczow to fajny człowiek. But Gorbaczow is different, he's a nice guy. Trzeba mu zostawić spokój, a rozliczenie zostawi. Well, let's leave it alone. Uh, let's let bygones be bygones and not ask them, uh, you know, not hold them responsible to any consequences. But Gorbachev knew he is not able to save the Soviet Union. And that's why he let it go. But he decided to rebuild Russia and keep as much territory as he can. And he wanted the world to submit to him, and he used uh, gas, he used oil as the means to do that. Znał ten system he knew the Russian system. And he knew sooner or later that he will find his Putin. And that person will rebuild the Soviet Union. And, and it happened. You have him now. Uh, I don't have any ill feelings towards Gorbachev against all odds. Well, he was a patriot. He loved Russia very much. So he was protecting interests of Russia. But he cheated us, all of us. On nas mu. He cheated us, and he lied to us, and we believed him. I mamy and now we have a problem. Tym razem nie so this time, let's please not, not trust them. Tym razem this time, we have to restructure Russia. Potem się za and then we can move on to China. I to... <laughs> I przyszłościowy świat. Because the future of the world should have three pillars of power. So you have to have the judicial, um, and then you have to have the government, and uh, the, the three pillars of power. Wolne media. So you have to have a three uh, uh, radio. Naczelnicy państwa nie powinni mieć więcej jak dwie kadencje z wyboru, nie dłuższe jak pięć lat. So um, the leaders of the world should only have no more than two terms, no longer than five years each. That way you, we will not have a Stalin or a Putin again. They won't be able to build such a monster in 10 years. A i ci, co im pomagają, jak będą wiedzieli, że po 10 latach spadną, to nie będą takie głupoty robić. And those who are helping him out, if they know that in 10 years there will be consequences to their actions and they will be brought up to responsibility, they won't be doing what they are doing. Jak mówiłem państwu, ja chciałem tego dokonać za moich czasów. I wanted to do that during my time. I już to robiłem. And I was doing it. Ale Amerykanie kapnęli się, co ja kombinuję. But Americans find out what I was trying to do. Przyjechała do, do Polski pani Albright. Miss Albright uh, came for a visit to Poland. She was a wonderful, very wise lady. And she told me in a very concise way, Mr. President, not one more step ahead. And I said, what? What do you mean? I want to fight. And she showed me the map of Russia. And she showed me. Tam były na tych mapach kółeczka zataczone, gdzie jest straszliwa broń Rosja trzyma. And they showed me, uh, she uh, put marks when Russians keep them, they are most dangerous weapons. I okazało się, że nie na terenie Rosji. And it turns out it's not on the territory of Russia. Tylko w tych republikach zdobytych. But in those republics that they conquered. Oni nie wiedzą, że mają taką broń. These people don't even know that they have those arms in there. Polska nie wiedziała, że na terenie Polski są rakiety atomowe. We didn't even know that on our territory Russia kept um, the atomic rockets. Możecie zobaczyć, ile atomów było w Polsce na YouTube. Są filmy specjalnie nakręcone. You can even see on YouTube how many atomic heads were in Poland. You can, you, the, the movies were made about it. We didn't know about it. 
i gdybym, gdyby, gdyby miał dalej poprowadził walkę i dał wolność tym narodom, to byśmy nieszczęścia zrobili w świecie. So if I continued my fight and all those little nations would gain, regain their independence, then we would have a lot of problems in the world. Bo nie wiedzą, co mają, nie wiedzą, jak konserwować, nie wiedzą w ogóle. Because they don't know what they have, they don't know how to manage it, they know nothing. Ja to sprawdziłem, to prawda. And I did follow up on that and it was true. No i przestałem to wykonywać. So I stopped doing it. Dziękuję Pani Albright, I, że, I, że mnie przekonała. So I'm very grateful to Ms. Albright that he, she convinced me. Prawdopodobnie źle by się skończyło. Because it would have a terrible ending. To jest 40 lat temu. That was 40 years ago. Dziś świat Putin zmobilizował. But today Putin mobilized the world. Mamy szansę, wy macie szansę zrobić porządek. So today we have a chance, you have a chance to restructure Spokojnie, this and change it. Pokojowo, solidarnie. And do it in solidarity, do it slowly and methodically and peacefully. Nie wybaczą nam pokolenia, jeśli tego nie dokonamy. Uh, our genera uh, the future generations will not forgive us if we don't do that. Nigdy nie było w historii takiej szansy. Never in the history of times we had such an opportunity. So I am really encouraging you to do that. You have to do it um, slowly, you have to do it um, wisely. And your president is going towards this direction and I really like that. So you have to uh, support him. Będę krócej mówił, no, ale takie duże tematy dajecie. Well, I'll, I'll try to give short answers, but it was a, a very broad subject. <laughs> It's going to get broader. So if you want to ask questions, just make sure you just have, use your phone and uh, point at the QR code and you can type the question and it will get to me. Yeah, it's just logistics. So one question is, what do you think is, uh, in your opinion, the most likely uh, scenario in Ukraine? Czyli zgodnie z Pana opinią, co Pan uważa, że się najprawdopodobniej stanie na Ukrainie z Ukrainą? No to jeden Pan Bóg wie. That only God knows that. Ja, ja muszę ro, ro, rozpatrywać różne wersje. Because I can give you a few different versions, I can guess. Najbardziej mi się podoba, że solidarnie, wspólnie, spokojnie znajdziemy dobre rozwiązania. But the best solution that I would like to see, that together in solidarity, we can find the best peaceful solution. Because when I started my fight, nobody thought it would be possible. Because Soviet Union was a huge power, powerful country. And you can see how we did it. It was in solidarity and it was done in a peaceful manner. Right now, the situation is easier. It's not Soviet, big old Soviet Union, it's just Russia. And the entire world is mobilized against them. So it is possible. Look, so, but we have to have the willpower to do that. So just like in solidarity, that we do it together and wisely. Because even if Ukraine wins over Russia, to znów za 10 lat będzie taka sama sytuacja. In 10 years from now, we will have the same situation all over again. Bo już tyle razy tak bywało. It happened so many times. Na, konie, na, na dzisiaj są dwie czytelne wersje w świecie. Because right now, we have two clear versions of the world. Świat był zawsze podzielony. The world has always been divided. Ale rozwijając się, wchłaniał słabsze państwa i narody that as the world was developing, the stronger countries were incorporating the smaller, weaker countries. So just like here, when you have the south and the, and the north, I mean, it became one country. So there is one version, the Russian Chinese version that do things and in, in, in expand by force. I ta druga and there is a second version. Przez NATO, przez Unię. 
uh, using uh, union, uh, the European Union, using NATO, Przez ONZ. Uh, use the uh, international nations, Przez demokratyczne wejścia w różne struktury. and put democratic structures in different countries. I tak powiększać możliwości wpływu. And that way you influence, uh, that way you expand your influence. Dla mnie jest pytanie, która wersja zwycięży tym razem? So my question is, which version, which way of doing it will win at this time? I think that our version has a better chance. But we have to act in solidarity. And we have to be persistent. And we have to wake up. United States has to wake up. Jak już mówiłem, nie chcecie przewodzić, to dajcie możliwości Polsce wasze. My będziemy wiedzieli, co zrobić. Like I said before, if you do not want to lead the world, give, a, give Poland the your button and we will lead the world. But you're going to like this one. Can you explain the meaning behind your shirt? Proszę pana, czy pan może wytłumaczyć, co jest na pana koszuli? Tutaj ma... Konstytucja napisana. Here it says Constitution. Mówię całemu światu, w moim kraju łamie się Konstytucja. Because I tell the entire world, in my country the Constitution is being violated. Łamie się trójpodział władzy. Because they are, they are violating ja the three pillars nie... of democracy. Ja się z tym nie zgadzam i całemu światu mówię, co się dzieje w Polsce. I disagree with it, and I tell the entire world what's going on in Poland. A co wam mówię tym napisem? But what is the message for you? Uh, jest taki piękny kraj Polska. There is such a beautiful country as Poland. Nie dał się faszyzmowi. That we fought against fascism. Nie dał się komunizmowi. We fought against communism. Zlekceważył demokrację. But unfortunately, they got lazy when it came to democracy. Because they allowed demagogues and populists into their power, into power. And today they have problems. And so please do not um, take democracy for granted. Go and vote. And be careful who you choose as your leader. Because you already had a small lesson. <laughs> so please be careful. So this is this. And this here, I am a practicing Catholic. So is the Holy Mother. Ja bym nie założył, bo to jest demonstracja wiary. Well, I wouldn't say that I am, you know, walking around talking about my faith. Ale w tamtych trudnych czasach walki But during those difficult times for me przywieziono mi poświęconą przez prymasa Polski ten obraz. Uh, but this particular picture um, was given to me by the prymas of Poland. I założono przy kamerach świata. And I put it on in front of uh, the cameras of the entire world. Ja zaskoczony. I was surprised. Powiedziałem, że będę zawsze nosił, kiedy będę robił sprawy polityczne. I said, I will always wear it, I will always have it when I am doing or speaking about something political. I dotrzymuję słowa. And I keep up my word. I ten najniższy jest flaga ukraińska. And you can also see the Ukrainian flag. Pomagam Ukrainie walczyć. Pomagam Ukrainie walczyć. Because I'm helping Ukraine to put up a fight. Zabiegam o zrozumienie i solidarność z Ukrainą. Because uh, I am fighting to have the solidarity and the understanding of Ukraine. I te napisy będę nosił, aż te wszystkie problemy znikną. And I will keep on wearing it until all the problems disappear. Więc pra prawdopodobnie położycie mnie do trumny w tej, w tej koszulce. Uh, I think uh, I would like to be laid in the coffin wearing that shirt. <laughs> How do you suggest we shape the United States back into a superpower for good? Uh, jak pan uważa, w jaki sposób Stany Zjednoczone mają wrócić do tego i na zawsze, żeby być tą potęgą światową? Zrozumieć czasy, w których przyszło nam żyć. 
You have to first of all understand the times that we are living in. Więc epoka, o której mówiliśmy, podziały państwa, kraje, bloki upadła. Because the world that we used to have, the era that we used to have, it's gone. Jak nasi pradziadowie wymyślili rowery, trochę technologii, to zorganizowali się w państwa, w kraje. Because when our um, ancestors, you know, developed a bicycle and then a little bit more technology, they created countries. To trwało do końca XX wieku. And that was happening till the end of the 20th century. My zbudowaliśmy tyle nowych rzeczy, we że have, nie mieszczą się jeszcze w tych państwach. We have built so many new things, so many new concepts that they are not just limited to one small country. Nawet pandemia się nie mieści. So even like pandemic. <coughs> Więc w tym pokoleniu musimy przejść na większe zorganizowania. So in this particular generation, we have to think globally, we have to think bigger. I znaleźliśmy się w takiej sytuacji. And here we are in this situation. Że jedna epoka upadła. Uh, that one era is gone. Pojawiła się epoka intelektu, informacji, globalizacji. So there is a new era, that is an era of intellectu intellectualization, technology and globalization. A my jesteśmy po środku. And we are somewhere in the middle. Jedno padło, drugie nie powstało. Because one is gone, but the other one hasn't happened yet. Ja nazywam ten czas epoka słowa, dyskusji. No jak ten świat ma wyglądać? So I am calling that era an era of discussion, an era of the world, because we have to uh, re uh, we have to uh, to 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 realize and uh, create what we want the world to look like. Jak w takich warunkach nowa rola stanu zjednoczą? Jak w tych warunkach nowa rola stanu zjednoczonych? So in this particular circumstances, in this world, what will be the role of the United States? To musimy wydyskutować. We have to talk about it. Więc to jest epoka dyskusji. So this is the era of discussion. Epoka wielkich pytań. The era of big questions. Na trzy pytania musimy znaleźć odpowiedź. So we have to find an answer to three different questions. Pierwsze pytanie, jaki fundament, który będzie nas łączył w tych nowych czasach? So we have to first of all ask, what is the foundation that we have to lay that will connect us all together in this new era? Kiedy takie pytanie pojawia się, when you have such a question, natychmiast wersze się dwie, dwie koncepcje fundamentu przyszłości. So there are basically two um, ideas, two concepts for, for foundation for the future. Połowa świata chce budować na wolnościach wszelkiego typu, wolnym rynku i prawie. Because half of the world want, wants to build a world, a world based on freedom, um, a free economy um, and law. Druga połowa świata mówi niedobry pomysł. The other part of the world says no, this is not a good idea. Najpierw uzgodnijmy wartości, które będą nas łączyć. First we have to um, agree on values that will connect us together. Takie dziesięć laickich przykazań. So it's like ten lay commandments. I dobrowolny rynek i prawo. And then we can create the order. Z tego podziału nie możemy się wyrwać. And we cannot get out of this route. Jak to nam się uda. So we, if we succeed in that, there will be a second question. A jaki system ekonomiczny pod te nowe czasy? What kind of economical system can we have during those new, during the, during the new era? Jak wiecie, są dwa wielkie systemy ekonomiczne. As you know, there are two huge uh, economical systems. Komunistyczny i kapitalistyczny. Komunizm and capitalism. Komunistyczny, teoretycznie, jest lepszy od kapitalizmu. The uh, communistic system, in the theory, on paper, is much better than capitalism. I dlatego młodzież się nabiera na pomysły komunistyczne. So sometimes the youth is very naive and they start liking the communistic ideas. I młodzież nie zauważa, że to ładnie brzmi, ale to jest nie do zrealizowania. It sounds really good, but it's impossible to implement. Komunizm jest nie do zrealizowania. It's impossible to implement communism. Więc odrzucamy. So we should throw it away. Zostaje kapitalizm. So now we have capitalism. Kapitalizm to jest rywalizacja. But a capitalism is you, um, it's rivalry. Nie zawsze czysta. It's not always clean. Ktoś nazwał wyścig szczurów między państwami. Somebody said it's like a red race between countries. Ale dobrze się realizuje. But it's going well. Więc zostawiamy kapitalizm. So let's stay with capitalism. No tak, tylko że kapitalizm powodował bezrobocie, bo wielu nie wytrzymało tempa. 
But a lot of people in capitalism um, are unemployed because they are unable to keep up. Więc wolny rynek zostawiamy z kapitalizmu. So we have to um, keep the free economy. That is what we get from capitalism. Bezrobotnych musimy odszukać i do roboty zagonić. We have to find the unemployed and we have to put them to work. To jest ten drugi problem. So now there is a second problem. Trzeci problem, jaki stoi przed nami. And the third problem is ahead of us. Jak sobie poradzić z demagogią, populizmem i oszustami polityków w tej skali większej jak państwa, jak kraje? How do we deal with demagogues? How do we deal with populism? How do we deal with corruption of our uh, elected officials, not just in one country, but globally, in all countries? Musimy zauważyć, że w tamtej epoce we have to notice that in the previous era, to narody tak po cichu, z tyłu gdzieś miały, miały Pana Boga. That all countries just quietly somewhere had this kind of God. On się różnie nazywa. They had different, the God had different names. Ale w świadomości mieliśmy go. But it was somewhere in the back of the head, in their consciousness. Odeszliśmy od tego. Well, we stopped doing that. W tamtej epoce baliśmy się komunizmu i Związku Sowieckiego. Back in the old era, we were scared of communism and we were scared of the Soviet Union. We took care of that. So now there is a question. So how do you control nations? How do you uh, govern nations? They do not have a, a, a break. So these are three huge issues that you have to look at and that you have to solve. 40 lat krzyczę do Stanów Zjednoczonych do świata. For 40 years I've been yelling at the United States and the world. To nie są trudne problemy. These are not difficult issues. Zbierzcie paru mądrych ludzi. Get a few smart people. I powiedzcie, kochani mądrzy ludzie. So dear smart people. Zróbcie listę tematów, które nie mieszczą się w państwach. Make a list of subjects that do not uh, apply to just one country. Jak pandemia, so, for instance, pandemic, internet, samoloty, uh, airplanes. Zróbcie taką listę. Be logical. Jak zróbicie tą listę. Be, I'm sorry, back translation, przepraszam. Uh, make that list. Jak zróbicie taką listę, to wtedy popatrzcie, które możemy zostawić na kontynentach. So when you look at that list, see which on that list, what can stay on just one continent? Które musimy już globalnie zauważyć. And what is a, a, a global issue? Jak to zrobicie, jest trzeci problem. When you do that, there is a third issue. Zastanówcie się, jakie trzeba programy, struktury i pieniądze, by przygotować rozwiązania, które... So, so what kind of programs, structures and money do you need to implement such solutions? Czy to jest trudne? Is it difficult? Nie. No. Się musi tym zająć. But somebody has to do it. Dziś nie mamy przywództwa światowego. Today we don't really have a world leadership. A to powinno przejąć zostanie te przywództwo, przygotowanie programów i struktur. And I believe it is the job of the United States to prepare those programs and to prepare those structures. To jest te nowe przewodzenie. This is the new leadership. Nie dolary. No, it's not about dollars. Nie, za, za wszystkich robić robotę. No, it's not about that you should be doing everybody's work. Organizować programy, struktury, żeby to robili inni. You have to organize programs and structures for others to implement. Więc w świecie Stany. So in the world, it's the United States. W Europie States. Niemcy jako największa potęga. And in Europe, it would be Germany as the largest power in Europe. Ja bym wolał, żeby Polska. I would prefer for Poland to be no, there. <laughs> Ale jesteśmy za biedni. But we are too poor of a country. Nie mamy zaplecza. Uh, we don't have the backers. Generalnie, no to są te dwie potęgi. So in, in reality, these are the two world powers. Jak mówiłem, to nie jest trudne. As I said, it's not difficult. W tych innych sprawach, jak NATO, jak Unia. In other, you know, cases like NATO jak or the European Union or economy. Jak ekonomia. Like economy. Przygotować po dwa rozwiązania w każdym wielkim temacie. You have to prepare two different solutions for each large, big subject. Na przykład Unia Europejska. For instance, European Union. Mówiłem 40 lat. I've been talking about it for 40 years. Niemcy, weźcie jeszcze za dwa kraje, przygotujcie dwie, dwa rozwiązania. 
took two um, countries as an example and prepared two different solutions. So one is we work on restructuring, working and repairing the union. If it's possible. And if it's not possible, then let the Poles and the Hungarians get rid of the union. After five minutes, after it falls apart, you make a proposition for a new union. Um, you, um, nie likwidujecie biur, tylko z tej starej Unii go zostawiacie. Uh, you don't liquidate uh, any institutions, you leave the old ones. I mówicie tak. And you say this. Ponieważ rozwalono starą Unię, to powołujemy nową Unię. So, because we destroyed the old Union, we, we are creating a new Union. Wszyscy mogą do niej wstąpić. And everybody can join. Nawet ci, co rozwalili starą. Even the ones that destroy the old one. Tylko muszą zauważyć. But they have to notice. Że wchodząc do Unii, tej nowej wyżą dwie tablice. Wyżą dwie tablice na drzwiach. Ok, but you have to understand that when you join the new union, there are two plaques that are hanging on the doors. Na jednej tablicy pisze. The one states. Witamy was wszystkie. Welcome to all. Wchodząc dostajecie ileś tam praw. By joining, you are gaining a certain amount of rights. Na drugiej tablicy. But the other one says. Witamy was. Welcome. Dostaliście ileś tam obowiązku. You will have a certain amount of responsibilities. Ustawcie prawa obowiązki tak, by takie wygłupy jak dziś nie miały miejsca. So the way it should be set up, that the way the rights and responsibilities should correlate with each other, then, jest, then, then problems like we have today won't happen. Czy to jest trudne? Is it difficult? A w tematach ekonomicznych. For instance, economy. Popatrzcie z góry na Europę. Let's look um, at Europe from, from above. Więc zobaczcie, co Pan Bóg komu dał w tej Europie. And let's look what nature has given to, to Europe. Na przykład Francji dał piękne winogrona. So for instance, France has beautiful grapes. Niech robią nas wszystkich win, go będziemy pić. Okay, so you know, we can all just go ahead and we can go there and drink. A na przykład Ukrainie dał piękną ziemię Pan Bóg. But God gave Ukraine beautiful, fertile soil. Uh, they can feed half of the world. No, nie well, then let them do it. No, Polska trochę to źle wypada. Poland, not so good. God didn't give us a lot. <laughs> uh, we have only three months of summer. So we are not going to make any money on the summer. The soil, eh, so so. <laughs> so we are not going to make any money on the soil. But God gave us one good thing. We are in the middle of Europe. So that's the fastest way from Moscow to Berlin. And from south and from north to the south. So let's um, let's uh, let's um, work with what God gave us. So we can have a lot of roads from hotel, one way to another. We have hotels. We can have restaurants. But that will be for 20 million of Poles. But the rest we have to send them somewhere, United States or someplace else. So these are the, the plans that the Germans and um, the United States prepared. Because in the past we would build um, we would build airports, but there were strategic airports for military. But right now we have to build it differently. We have to build them for economy. We have to build them for the entire Europe. Uh, in the past we would cheat each other. But now we have to be honest. But somebody has to lead us towards this honesty. But today we don't have leadership. 
Ja czego nie zrobię, gdzie nie poprowadzę, no to nikt nie zrobi. Uh, because in the areas that I didn't lead, I didn't manage, nobody else did that. I ponieważ praktycznie podchodziłem do spraw, to się wszystko udawało. Because I was very pragmatic, the way I look at things, I was pragmatic. That was, that's why I was successful. Stąd praktycznie proszę was, stany, prowadźcie ten świat. So I'm asking you, United States, be practical, be pragmatic about the way you lead the world. Nie wybaczył do pokolenia. And you have it for generations. That you have this opportunity today. Na pokój today. rozwój dobrowy. Na pokój rozwój dobrowy. Taką szansę, pokój. Oh, okay. Yes, that we have a chance for peace in the world. Tylko żeby, żebyśmy się zabrali za to. But we have to work on it. Wonderful. We have few minutes left. And I know um, we want to hear so much more from former President Wallace. So I just want to honor one question that one of my students is asking. And this person wants, and I think it's very relevant because as President Wallace indicated, you know, this person was not born in 1980 at the peak of the struggle. So this person wants to know if President Wallace can share some of the emotional and physical components driving him to fight for freedom. <laughs> Your question is longer than my answer. <laughs> Więc ta osoba, która zadaje to pytanie, urodziła się w 1980, więc ona próbuje ta osoba zrozumieć, zadając to pytanie, jakiego rodzaju pan przechodzi przez jakiego rodzaju um, emocje, jakiego rodzaju fizycznie i emocjonalnie, jakiego rodzaju pan miał przeszkody? Co pan czuł? Nie pamiętam, już mam sklerozę. I don't really remember, I'm starting to get in dementia. Ale na pewno tak jak każdy z was, to na początku jest i strach. Well, just like everybody else, at the beginning I was scared. I nie wiedza. And you know, I didn't have any, any więc, knowledge experience. Czym bardziej człowiek wchodzi w to, to odpada strach. But the more you go into it, the more you do it, the fear just goes away. I uczy się. And you learn. A muszę powiedzieć, że opłacało się. And I have to say it was worth it. Nie wiem, czy pamiętacie Breżniewa. I don't know if you remember Breżniew. On miał cały jacket zaburowany odznaczeniami. Uh, so when you look at his jacket, and you look, it was, it was full of, of different medals. A ja mam 50 razy więcej od niego. But I have 50 more than he does. Tak, tak. Nie mogę tego założyć, bo trzeba być dźwigu, żeby mnie podniósł. I cannot wear it around, because I won't be able to walk. Cztery profesury honorowe. Uh, I have four honorary um, titles. Około 100 doktoratów. Uh, 100 doktorats. A więc warto jest być porządnym i coś robić. Uh, so it's important to have integrity and do things with integrity. Gdybym miał wasze wykształcenie. If I had your education. Gdybym miał wasze dolary. If I had your money, your dollars. O, to 10 doktoratów, 10 Nobli. Dziesięć Then I would have ten Nobel Awards. <laughs> Także macie szansę większą ode mnie. So your chances of succeeding are much higher than mine. Ja nie miałem żadnych szans. I had no chance. Robotnik. I was just a simple worker. Kiepsko wykształcony. I had poor education. Ośmioro dzieci. I had eight children. I patrzcie. And look at me. Spotykam się z wami. I am meeting here with you tonight. Wymążam się. Uh, I'm pretending I'm smart. <laughs> and you are listening to me. No, to to well, isn't it even possible? How is that even possible? Ile mi brak do każdego z was? Ile? Ile mi brak do, do każdego z was? Because you know how much more you have than me. Ale mi się chciało chcieć. But I had the drive. I wierzyłem w to, co robię. And I believed in what I was doing. Więc weźcie przykład ze mnie. So take me as your example. A świat będzie piękny, bo and, jest piękny. And the world will become a beautiful place because the world is a beautiful Trzeba place. Trzeba usuwać przeszkody. But you just have to remove the obstacles. Całe życie ja wszędzie, gdzie mi się nie podobało, to usuwałem. Because everything uh, in my entire life, when I didn't like something, I moved it out of my way. Kłopotów miałem dużo. I had a lot of problems. Nawet księdzu podpadłem raz kiedyś. One time, 
I even uh, caused trouble with a priest. Miałem 10 lat chyba. I think I was 10 years old. I coś ksiądz źle powiedział. But the priest said something wrong. Chodziłem miesiąc, a nie mówię, ksiądz źle mówi. I was walking, I was following him for a month, telling him he was wrong. <laughs> Zdenerwowało się na mnie. He got upset with me. Mówi, chłopcze, z tym twoim charakterem. He said, dear boy, with your, with your character. Albo zginiesz w kryminale, albo bardzo wysoko zajdziesz. You will either die, or you will go far. <laughs> Jednego i drugiego skosztowałem. Well, I tried one and the other, kind of. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, with that high end note, we'll finish this event. And now I'm more honored than I was before when we first met an hour ago and you called me a troublemaker. So now I feel quite, what a great title to have from one troublemaker to another. So if he calls you a troublemaker, you'll feel it. So I want to come to this end by letting you know that this is part of our programming at the Croc School. If you're interested in learning more, please go on our webpage. I see many community members that I see at, at all of our events. Uh, please join us. This is part of our mission. And on December 7th, we'll have the Women Peacemakers. They're back after three years. And they're all beautiful women, so we want to see all of you. Because not only do we get to learn, and we get to see these women tell us their stories, but we also connect with each other. Like I said, I'm seeing all of the people that I see event after event, including my favorite couple of the Cox School. I see them there. So please join us and keep coming. If you want to, before we go into a huge applause, because that's the least former President Vanessa deserves. Uh, he's so excited to meet you, so he will be um, taking pictures with you. So, one moment, one moment. One moment, one moment. 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 Jedną rzecz ważną, co pani powiedziała, pani nie powiedziała. But there is one important thing that I told you that you didn't mention. Poprosiłem panią, by pani się nie odchudzała już. Yeah, I ask you not to lose any more weight. Bo nie pozoruję na wodę pod prysznicem. Because you won't be able to find the water under the shower. Szanowni państwo. Dear ladies and gentlemen. Ja dziękuję bardzo. Wie, wie, Thank you very much. Jeszcze dużo rzeczy powinniśmy wyjaśnić. There are a lot of issues that we can clarify. Więc liczę na to, że jeszcze mnie zaprosicie kiedyś. So please invite me again. Proszę. Thank you. Thank you. Star. I want to have pictures with you so one day I can blackmail you with that. Okay, if you are interested in getting your picture taken, our request is that you remain seated and we're going to call you by the by aisle to line up on the side. So I appreciate folks who ran up to queue up, but please, we're gonna release you by your row, so please grab a seat if you would like to get a uh, picture with President Walesa. So this is for President Walesa, right? Yes. Thank you. 